the bathroom, kitchen, and the bedroom in the same time. Perfect, it's all in the same room. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today we get to tank, hang out with our new friends, Batiste and Marion. Hello. Guys, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. How long have you guys been on the road in this camper? One month. We left on uh, November 12th. Yep. Yeah. And where did you leave from? Golden, BC. For yeah. British Columbia. Yep. Yes. And is that where you're from? Uh, nope, I'm born in France but grew up in Montreal and we moved in Golden uh, almost 10 years ago. Yeah. Oh, very same, nice. Uh, same for me. I didn't grow up in Montreal but I grew up in France. You grew up in France. <laughs> okay. What were you doing in France at that time? Uh, I was going there to ski. Ski, okay. Yeah, skiing in the mountain and uh, then I met Maria and we were together. And then why British Columbia? What brought you there? The ski, the mountain, uh, the river. Beautiful British Columbia. Yeah, it is gorgeous up there, I've heard. Yeah, I've, yeah, I've yeah. only been to Vancouver, but uh, I've heard it's gorgeous up there. Oh yeah, mm. definitely. So what inspired you to build this out? And have, are you an avid camper? So uh, we tried to, uh, camper with a, a camper box, Okay. but uh, it was too heavy for the truck. So we decided to just uh, build it with scratch, with material that uh, come from like a, a, a construction that I just finished. Oh, gotcha. So it's just left over and uh, it's way lighter than a, than a regular rig. So uh, yeah, better for the truck and uh, just enough for us. And so you have a construction background? Yeah, yeah. I'm a carpenter from Formation. Okay. And uh, I flipped some mobile home and I just finished my uh, first new construction. Congratulations, that's Thank great. You. But now you're just uh, retired-ish in vacation? Semi-retired. Yeah. Semi-retired. That's <laughs> It was the, yeah, we worked for 10 years, like work, 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 work. Yeah. Okay. Now it was the time for uh, going back on the road. Aha, uh -huh, <laughs> perfect. Mm. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at your rig. You guys can show me around because uh, I would just love to see the simplicity of it. So sure. let's go ahead and do that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. So right. it's a bathroom, kitchen, and the bedroom in the same time. Perfect, it's all in the same room. <laughs> well, we have the beautiful little deck with a nice carpet that comes from the neighbor. New little table here. That's oh. a, so that's a salvage from an old camper. Same as the door, the window. Uh, outside it's plywood, half inch treated. And I, uh, for the frame, I recut some uh, two by four in two okay. so to make one by, by two by two. And all the leftover, I use it as a trim. I use some little piece of uh, EPDM, it's a kind of rubber uh, to make all the corner to make it uh, airtight and uh, waterproof. Between the snow and the rain, no water that pass through. So, and uh, on the road as well, like with all the wind and everything, it's stay uh, very solid. It's not totally airproof, so mm -hmm. we still have some dust passing through the old window that is salvaged as well. Okay. From, the, from an old camper. Yeah, we had that uh, camper trailer. Yeah. And uh, Baptiste crashed it with the, the tractor that we have on the property. And he took the, the door and the The door, the window, the some hardware yeah. for the bed as well. So you salvaged a lot of parts. Oh yeah. And what kind of truck are you driving? Uh, Silverado 2010. Okay, so it's Chevy, Chevy Silverado. Yeah, little V6. Uh, it's small, eight foot box, so with a small cab. So it was an old uh, contractor uh, truck. It's all, uh, it's all made by it's, uh, it's sur mesure for the truck. Okay. So it's like six by six by eight. And how long did it take you to build this out? Uh, three weeks. Three weeks. Wow, that is nothing. But uh, not like full time, three weeks, like in and out, a little bit there, a little bit there, a little bit there, like, and I got some help. So, uh, yeah. And, and how much do you think it cost you? Because you use a lot of recycled materials. How much do you think uh, it cost you? Between the battery, the solar system is uh, reused from another gig, a thousand bucks. That's it, a thousand dollars. Yeah. That's incredible. And I see you have some, uh, like the roofing, the metal roof up there. Is that salvaged from uh, something as well? Uh, yeah, that was like the top sheet when you order some uh, some tin <laughs> that they put the sticker and it's to protect the, the tin. So I just reused that, cut it sur mesure and, uh, and that's it. All right, so let's take a look inside if you don't mind. Yeah, totally. Yeah. All right, should I take off my shoes? 
please. Yeah. I love the beach, but not in my bedroom. <laughs> 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 so the curtain uh, was in the, car the, um, the camper, the older camper as well. We did put some um, mosquito screen. We didn't like put anything, but it's um, um, insulation. insulation. And when it's cold outside during night, it's nice because it's, it's warm. And uh -huh. how does the bed system work? <laughs> it's the same, it's very simple. So that's nice because if I want to stay longer in the bed in the morning, you just leave this and I stay there li a little while to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> so you can sleep in and he can get up. Yeah, it's a um, mattress from um, um, MEC. Uh, it's a sport shop, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And is it a blow up or is yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, so there's a little air in there. Yeah. And then, well, it's a mess. But, uh, so then you guys sleep side to side. Yeah, uh, yeah, like this. All right. yeah. yeah, the storage. It's uh, honestly, it's, I think it's too much storage. <laughs> and then, yeah. how do you guys cook in here? Uh, with this guy here. Uh, yeah, it's very simple. There's the propane thing here. <laughs> All right, and, and this is your fresh water there. And here it's the the cooler. And uh, for this year, it's okay to buy ice and how that is working but if i want to do it uh in another way it's gonna be like a plug um, um refrigerator refrigerator and yeah. do you have pots and pans stored somewhere yeah it's here oh it's a mess but uh it does the job <laughs> and so you have tons of storage under the bed as well looks yeah like. what so... all do you store down there this guy under here it's the it's for the shower so you have a shower in here yeah so how does that work we removed this um this table no. it's it's very nice actually oh it's how like it's a made. slot system yeah, yeah. Uh, sink right in like there this. so it goes flush yeah that is super clever and here he did the little uh the notches to put notches. in yeah. yeah like this mm-hmm and then when we take the shower, we put that like this. So we put this like, like that. Stand in the tub and then yep. you use... So this is the curtain shower that we, uh, we hang all around the chain here. We use this little uh, pump that is for chemi chemicals normally. And then we boil a little bit of water we put the water inside, we hooked it here, and then we pump. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's it. Uh, we use like um, a soap, uh, organic soap. Oh, gotcha. We just throw the water after this. Oh, like, excellent. So it's all biodegradable. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Do you have a restroom in here too? Do you have a porta potty or something? Uh, this is uh, the um, toilet. <laughs> I love it. So you're going to go dig a hole and there yes. we go. That absolutely <laughs> works. <laughs> but this, but this cloth here for, yeah, there is lots of uh, clothes as well. This is mine, this is his. That's not very many clothes. No, no, but it's during the day. Like uh, this is uh, but his, uh, uh, my box and his box. Oh, so excellent. So when, uh, when we're taking the shower every two days, Okay. We are changing the clothes. Oh, yeah. so those are your daily daily, daily clothes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I finished my wood for you. It's the, uh, the exterior old window that uh, we can use a little crank to open it. Like an uh, old standard window for a camper. EPDM that goes like all around. It's not uh, the most beautiful work, but uh, it works so far so good. So uh, It's very effective. Yeah, exactly. The little triangle here to more room for storage. I actually two window on the other side and uh, it's plenty of light during the day and very good ventilation as well so when we're cooking like because it's propane and everything we always crank the the window a little bit open so uh, we have a very good circulation and no fan nothing like that. Uh, 100 watt solar panel that goes like right to a controller then to the battery we use like cell phone and a tablet yeah. So uh, we stick to 12 volt and uh, that's it. I we wanted to more. have the 
the hair dryer, but he wasn't happy about it. Yeah, that takes a lot of electricity. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so far, we never run out of battery. Uh, yeah, it's working just fine for phone and, and the tablet. So yeah. as you guys have a simple lifestyle, so you don't need a, a lot of electricity. No. No. But we don't need to work. We work with the phone, so that's it. That's no computer, no fridge, no... Uh, Yet, but maybe next year, next time, a little yes. fridge, a 12 volt fridge. It's gonna be but uh, much again, easier. On 12 volt. <laughs> yeah. 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 Batiste, can you stand up in your rig? Yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure. What, how how high is it again? What's the uh, height of it? Uh, six foot high. Six foot high. Yeah, uh, six and a little something. Little yeah, something. So, what do you use for lighting inside? Uh, we bought on Amazon, uh, but we bought on online uh, string light. It's a rope. Mm. Yeah, it's a, a rope. Uh, a rope light. So LED rope light. LED rope light, rope light yeah, and that comes with a little solar panel. Oh, perfect. So yeah, we put the solar panel on top in in the daytime, and we put it inside at night time. So, is there anything you would have changed with the build? Uh, with the building, no, but maybe more netting on the wall to add more uh, storage. Yeah, the that, fridge, the, the fridge. fridge, and that's it. And you could add the fridge next year, and you'll be happy. Yeah. Small, compact, light, perfect. Yeah. Any idea how much this trailer weighs? Uh, the box and everything, maybe seven, seven fifty, something like that pounds. It's very light. Yeah. And uh, uh, you can see it. There's yeah, the pickup of, uh, is still high, and yeah. when uh, when I drive, like. I don't feel the pickup doing like a like a boat. Okay. Yeah, like a boat is very like straight, solid, strong, and uh, very yeah. stable. Very yeah. stable. Well, guys, thank you so much for giving me a tour of your cool, handmade, homemade rig. Um, Batiste, again, how long did it take you to build this? You said three weeks. Three weeks, yeah. In yeah. and out. That is incredible. That is such a quick build, and I love the simplicity, but it has some really cool features with the table and things like that. So, guys, thanks again for opening your home to us and, and giving You're us welcome. a tour out there. You're welcome. You're welcome. Folks out there, what was your favorite part of this simple build? It was very cheap. It was, it's very efficient. He used a lot of recycled wood and a lot of recycled parts. We'd love to hear in the comments below, let us know. But until next time, if you liked the video, if you got something out of it, give us a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys all down the road. Bye guys. Bye. Bye bye. Something else. Bye. <laughs> that was exciting. <laughs> I almost lost the camera there.